good day everyone welcome to earthcan in this video i'm going to show you how to get started with the goal based investing tool we have on the site you can access the tool from this link or either from or from here so the tool is based on google sheets and it will allow you to plan for all of your financial goals in one place to install it you have to open this page and scroll down and it says here install the tool from here you have to read this disclaimer agree to it since it says click here only if you read and understood the points above and it says click the image below to install the tool so you click this and a new window will pop up this tool like i said is based on google sheets so you have to you will be asked to make a copy of the existing sheet which into your own google account so that's what this page says one quick thing is that here it says view app script file what this essentially means is this file this whole tool or calculator uses something called google app script in the background to do its calculations this button allows you to view that particular macro code if you want to why this is important i'll come a little later on that but for the time being you can hit this button which says make a copy wait around 5 to 10 seconds for the sheet to open up which will give you your own personal copy of this tool so once this opens up you can go here and you can rename it so i'm going to rename it right now my own copy for this video right so this is what it looks like it starts with the how to tab so here you have some text which explains how what the tool is about and what it does i would like to draw your attention to this menu item that has been created so this menu item is extremely important because here you get the calculate button the calculate button allows you to calculate your sip values here is the link that takes you back to this page so that you can get the latest version of the sheet if you want to this is also important get a license because some parts of this sheet are a paid feature and you need a license to use that sheet as per uh, your current google account here is some help so if this video for example which you're watching right now it's part of a uh, youtube playlist which you can see on youtube and if you have a question you can ask that on facebook so that's what this is about we are going to get started very simply by hitting this about button just see what happens when you do that will get this pop up this pop up is extremely important it is asking is it saying authorization required because this is this script is being run for the first time on your google account so it requires some permissions to be set so you hit continue like this this is the account i am currently signed in it will obviously show you, you your own account and it gives you this particular warning so this is where i had mentioned that i have written some code which is written in app script which has not been verified by google since i have only written it so this is the warning it shows so what you need to do here if you see this link it says advanced click on that scroll down and then here at the bottom it says go to plan excel calculations unsafe so if you click that it will show you the permissions that you need to grant so there are three permissions that you can see here these are the three permissions i am asking for so you can the script can see edit create and delete your google's sheet spreadsheets that's the first permission connect to an external service this is required for two reasons one is to fetch the naps and uh, from amphi and to do the calculations from uh, the master sheet that is maintained at our end which has the calculation logic for goals and this is this third permission is for this menu item that you saw a little while back so these are the three permissions which you need to grant click allow as soon as you click allow you'll get a bunch of emails from google saying that this sheet has now been given access to your google gmail account so be aware that you're going to get such sheet, uh, such emails so that's the permissioning bit 
the sheet will not work without granting the permissions. So now I'm going to quickly show you the what happens, uh, what is there in the sheet after this. Once that is now working, let's go through this. So this is the first sheet. Like I said, it shows it has text which explain what each of the tabs do. I'm going to go through this very quickly. This is the dashboard. So this in one place shows you one view of the entire uh, portfolio, your goals, your assets, your rebalancing, buy and sell across asset classes, your targets, that's how much insurance should you should have, your retirement corpus, present value of current goals, and your SIP values. So all of that is kept here. This sheet allows you to know the current value of your portfolio. So you can enter stocks, mutual funds, that is uh, global stocks, global mutual funds, ETFs, all that is present. You have to, you can also enter your uh, FDs, uh, provident fund. These, these values you have to enter manually because they cannot be fetched from anywhere else. Your provident fund, your NPS, uh, investment property, commercial property, all that. So this is your total portfolio. This is the goals tab. This is the most important tab because here you have each of the goals that uh, you're investing for the sheet by default comes with a few goals already entered just to show you how it works like car for education retirement children related fire all that is present here this is a tab which talks about uh, home loans so if you are using a home loan uh, you already have a home loan or you want to take a home loan this is the tab to use i'll explain that in a separate video here you have a sheet that shows you overall progress with time. So as if somebody has been running this portfolio for the last uh, few years. See. So if you are starting it today, just enter 2022 here and copy these values down. So then you, the graphs will adjust. And once you start maintaining this over once every year, you have to come here and update these values and these graphs will change. But here there's a very important chart that you need to look at and understand. So this is your entire portfolio here over time from today till the end and all of your goals. So each of the dots here that you see is a single goal. So here you have your retirement goals, here you have your children's marriage goals, your children's college education goals, etc. All that is captured here. Here we have a couple of tools, useful tools. One is a, a retirement uh, expense estimator. So what would be your expense in retirement based on current prices? So this, this feeds into uh, the main goal sheet here. So it, whatever your annual expense that feeds in here. So there's a separate article on this which I've already explained how this thing works. So this is the article which you can read. And here's a small tool uh, which talks about uh, which tax regime to choose. So if you enter your CTC and your deduction, etc., it will show you which tax regime, old or new, that you should use. So this is a small helper application that you can, that is not related to the rest of the uh, app, uh, tool, but it just shows your tax regime. So here I want to clarify one bit that everything that you've seen so far is free to use. It does not matter. So this is free. This is free. Uh, this uh, assets bit, which where it, you get prices and naps from Amphi and prices from Google Finance, etc. All that is free to use. So it will, you can enter your portfolio here. It will keep updating. It will get these uh, overall values. So all that is there. There's only one paid feature in this whole sheet, and that is the calculation itself. So the way it works is. Uh, here, uh, once you enter your goals, right, so you need the SIP values, the split of the lump sum uh, equity and debt. So that calculation has to be unlocked by purchasing a license. So to purchase the license, you have to click this menu and click this get a license. That's how it works. Right, so that overall uh, how it works i'll just quickly show this in action by making a small change so let's say somebody wants to buy a house so after five years so i'll enter five here 
and this triggers the home loan calculation so it's an 80 lakhs house 20 lakhs with down payment and new goals have been created uh, for this for as for a 10 year home loan so once that is done i'll go here click calculate either i can click this calculate or i'll click this calculate it's the same thing and to get what's this sip number it's 118056 as as of this moment it will change now you see it has now gone up so for a, if you want to buy a house after 5 years this the tool says that you need to increase your existing sip to a different number and start investing based on that plan so this if you go to the tracking sheet this curve has now slightly changed so there would be new goals because of that added here so that that's how it works so for example uh, I'll one more quickly let's say you want to uh, uh, so children's ed education is added here so let's say your retirement calculation I'm going to give a slightly higher expense in retirement so let's say so your retirement is is will cost you seven and a half lakhs in today's money so once I go back to the goals sheet and then click calculate, watch this SIP number again. So see it jumped quite a bit because this value went up by a lot. So this also jumped accordingly. So that's how the calculation works. So it shows you the SIP. So if I come back to the dash, see it it, uh, it has all those different goals now and it shows you the SIPs against each of them it also takes your existing uh, investments of this 50 lakhs value and shows you the rebalancing in equity debt and cash so th this is what the tool effectively does you can again hit calculate here to see the change when the portfolio change value changes with time so this is essentially this is how it all is this is just an introductory video i'm going to do detailed videos on each of the individual sections for everyone to see thank you all have a great day cheers bye